So yesterday I had launched the Kerala Corona Tracker website. Everything was running smooth and uh, people started visiting the website. But today morning I got a message from my web host stating like my website was being taken down because the limit got exceeded. Due to that only I am doing this video one more time. I just switched my website provider so to log in to the new website you just need to go to gocoronago.tech so whenever you are logging in you will be able to see such a page and in this page all the previous graphs are there you know to see the Indian statistics you have to select the second tab all the graphs provided over here are interactive let me just show you how to interact with these graphs you can just enable or disable the y-axis values in the graph by clicking like this let me just directly compare Kerala's statistics with our nearby state Karnataka so you can see over here this is how it is being compared and if you need to know the values you can just select this option compare data on over afterwards you can just move your mouse like this accordingly you will be able to see all the statistics and if we are comparing say Kerala with uh, Maharashtra the cases are going higher and higher but you can see the Kerala cases it's almost in a linear phase now if we are taking this graph so you can see the graph is a bit congested why because there are so many dates in which uh, the corona cases have been reported and due to that we cannot see the text so in order to see the text what you can do is you can just click and drag the portion in which you have to see the text so here you can see on april 12th the number of new cases in kerala was 2 and the total number of cases were 375 so you can continue browsing through the website and you can interact with the graphs new graphs are getting updated each and every day and live updation is also being done in the backend in order to provide you real-time data thank you